Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn how to record API requests in JMeter and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. And do not worry if you have never done this process earlier, I will show you from scratch step by step and we are going to learn how to create the recording test plan in JMeter, how to set the proxy in the functional testing tool and how to then record our API requests. So here along with JMeter, we will need another tool a functional testing tool for APIs that we can use to record and here in this session I am going to use SOAP UI but you can similarly use any other tool where you can set a proxy and I will show you some more options later and do not worry if you are completely new with SOAP UI or you have never worked with SOAP UI I will show you step by step so let us go to our JMeter and here we first need to create a test plan where we can do a recording. Now you can create a HTTP test script recorder into your existing test plan or I will go to the templates. So here I will go to the templates. You can also go to file and templates. And here in the drop down, there is a recording template or a sample test plan for recording. And here you can also see some documentation and links and I will click on create and here I have to give the host to record and then the recording output file schema to record all this you can give here. So what I'm going to do is I will go to SOAP UI and I have already added SOAP UI on my system. You just have to download SOAP UI from the SOAP UI website and this is the open source version. They will be a uh, a zipped folder or maybe a installer that you will get downloaded and you will just have to run the installer still if you face any issues you can go to my website that is automation step by step dot com and here under the API testing section here you will get a link for SOAP UI tutorials and this will take you to a YouTube playlist where you can check and learn about SOAP UI so you can watch the first session on introduction and getting started where you will learn how to install and set up. So once you have your SOAP UI up and running, I will go to file and new SOAP project or I can just click here SOAP and here I have to give the project name and the WSTL. So here let us take uh, our sample calculator web service that we have also used in an earlier session as well so this is a soap web service and here we have these services for add divide multiply multiply and subtract all these requests and this is the service description or the wstl so i will copy this wstl url and i will provide it here and I can just give the name as calculator and that's it. It will create all the operations or all the requests. I will say OK and you can see it has generated all the add, divide, multiply, subtract and all the requests. We are getting calculator soap and calculator soap 1.2. This is because this is the newer implementation of soap that is soap 1.2. I can remove one of these. And now you can see if I go to add, I have my add request created and everything is added already. I just have to give two integers here and run it. Similarly, if I go to any other request, everything is already set up. So I will just have to change the integer value here. Let us say two and three. And if I run, I'm getting the response. I can also click here to see the request and response side by side. So here I'm getting this. If I go to the divide API, let us say I give nine here and three here. And if I run this, I'm getting the result as three. And this is the advantage of using a functional API testing tool that you just have to give the WSTL in case of SOAP and it has created all our API requests with sample data and fit sample request created we do not have to manually do all these things so in jmeter we do not have a option of just adding a wstl and then uh, getting everything so this is why we can use this 
uh, functional testing tools and do the recording in JMeter. So now the reason I'm using SOAP UI here is that we have a option to set a proxy and if you have option to set proxy in any other tool you can use the same process. I will go to preferences here you can also go from uh, here you can go from file and preferences or go from here preferences I will go to proxy settings and here I will say manual and I will say host is localhost and port number I can use is 8888 this is where JMeter, um, uh, JMeter will check by default but you can also change it if you want to so let me just keep it 8888 and say ok and now this should be on you can see proxy this should be on and then now I will go to my JMeter and here I can say host to record is localhost and rest of the thing should be fine I will say this is HTTP and I will say create so you can see it has created the entire test plan with a HTTPS test script recorder and a thread group with a recording controller so instead of doing this manually it is better that you take it from the template so you have got everything here now if you see here if you go to the HTTPS test script recorder it is listening to port 8888 so this is what we have used in SOAP UI as well if you want to change you can change it that is not a problem and now I will click on start and it also generates a certificate in the bin directory of JMeter so if I show you let me show you that later after I do some recording so it is it has now started recording if I run any request on SOAP UI and with the proxy on let us say I go to this add request and I run this if I now go to JMeter you can see it has recorded a sampler which is a add request you can see it has actually added our actual request that we ran on SOAP UI and it has also added all the headers as well let me show you by splitting my screen so that you can see SOAP UI and JMeter side by side let me now go to the divide request in SOAP UI and if I run this you can see it also captured a new request which is division and here you can see the actual request 9 and 3 it has taken here similarly if I go to subtract if I go to multiply and give two integers here I will say 5 and 2 here and if I run again you can see it has captured the multiplication if I go to subtract here and again give two integers in the request I will say 9 and 2 and run this again we have our request captured so once you have captured and recorded all the requests I can click on stop and now everything is captured now sometimes you may also have to add the certificate in your functional testing tool like SOAP UI in this case and you must have seen that when I started recording when I start recording it gives me an information that a root CS certificate is created in the JMeter bin directory and that is I will go to the JMeter's bin directory and you can see this certificate is created and you may have to add this certificate in SOAP UI so for example if I go to the here if I go to the project you will see WS security configurations and here you will see key stores so you may have to add it here and then for the request that you are running for example if I go here this is the request in the properties you will find so let me show you in the properties there will be a option for SSL key store and then you can just select the key store that you have just added so this may be required in case you can direct you cannot record directly 
but in our case we were able to record without adding the certificate and you can see we have got all our requests recorded along with the headers and everything and this is now ready to be executed i will just go to my view results tree and run this and check i can also save this i will say api recording i will save the project or the jmx file and if i go to view results tree and run let us see so you can see i am getting all the requests getting executed properly and there is also this as extra result this is for the we have this recording transaction controllers so all these requests are added within the transaction controller and that is why we are having a separate result as well if you want you can move this out side the transaction controller so i can move these requests outside let me also change the name of these requests this is for add so i will name this add uh, this i believe is for divide so i will name this as divide and then this is for multiplication i will name this as multiply and this one is the subtraction so i will name this as subtract so everything is done now if i want i can move it to the thread group this as well and multiply and the subtract and that's it so you can see all these are added here and now if i go again and run this all the requests or run the test plan from here you can see this is now coming like this i can just remove or disable the recording controller and now you can see everything is running fine and of course now i can increase the number of users and increase the load as i want to and then i will run it and you can see everything is running fine so this is how you can very quickly do a recording of your api requests in jmeter i hope this session was very useful for you i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching